You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today uh, I've got a little unboxing here for you from Sugar Turtle Studio, which is uh, a really great little place to find all kinds of fun stuff, uh, stickers and all that jazz, and we're going to have some of that in this box. Um, I have already unboxed this, so this is more of a haul, but uh, I want to start with something that actually doesn't fit back in the box once I have unfolded it. And that is this which is an awesome tote bag. It's actually kind of too big to even fit all just in the frame here. But this pattern is one of the ones that Tom has made that is just such a great pattern. Uh, it, you can get this on luggage if you want, uh, shirts, bags. He's got some rickshaw gear with this illustration on here. Just this is just the brightest fountain pen uh, pattern I've uh, I've ever seen. It's kind of amazing. So get something with this pattern on it and stand out at a pen show because boy is that cool and this is of course just a big tote bag i'm a, a big proponent of tote bags for pen shows these days just because they go over your shoulder they hold a bunch of stuff and uh, they can be like very thin and kind of out of the way uh, but this is really great uh, the inside is just a it's it's a bag it's a it's a black hole of a bag uh, for me that's not such a big deal because I have a lot of very bright things that I can put in here as far and they won't get lost but if you throw black accessories in here you're gonna lose them that's like the only drawback with this particular bag but um, very nice sturdy uh, tote bag really dig it the outside could not be brighter so very cool tote bag number one Okay, let's get into this box. Um, Tom did throw in some things, and so I'm not actually sure which of these things I bought and which of these things were ones that uh, Tom threw in as sort of an extra because he knows me or just for funsies. But um, I did intend to buy all the all the stuff and the, the big stuff in here I definitely did buy. So um, let's get started with some stuff in this box. This is one of his sugar turtles. It was holding some stuff together in the original packaging, and we saved it because it is super cute. All right, so this is a nice washy roll here of some very nice marbly pens these are uh, art that are done by Tom in fact I think all of the art for the stuff on his uh, his Etsy store of course uh, link in the description down there is art that he has done and uh, it's all super cute so that's a very fun roll of washi dig that then uh, this is something that I really like and actually I was unboxing this on the live stream uh, just the other day and uh, Tom was in the, happened to be in the live stream at the time. I did not warn him. He just popped in. So this is something I will use the same way he has. And that is sort of as an under the keyboard sort of situation. It's a really great size for that. This is like half B5 or something like that. Is it labeled? It's not. Uh, but he sort of just like cut it into a very thin thing instead of being, you know, this size. But cut it lengthwise. And this is Kikuyo paper, I believe he said. And that is a very nice stuff. Uh, here we have a couple of inks that I just scribbled on there for fun when I was looking at the paper uh, some show through because it's you know a thin ish paper but like absolutely no bleed that's really pretty darn good so yeah very nice and uh, ink looks good on this it's a very nice smooth paper although it's got a little bit of a texture to it so you can feel it when you're writing on it it doesn't skate uh, I don't like it when a paper is just too smooth and too coated it feels like trying to write on glass and, and that's just kind of annoying so uh, there we have uh, this is Van Diemen's Tiger Quill Prowl this one I don't remember I don't actually remember which ink that was that I was scribbling with. Just some pen I had handy. Uh, and then this one is Vinta Pramana Brown, which is my favorite brown of all time. And you see the sheen shows up well there. You get some nice shading and that sort of thing. Yeah, good paper in here. And the perfect size to go right beneath your keyboard so you can write notes. I like to actually... This is the thing I do, and maybe you don't need to, but my mind is sometimes a little scattered. I know, shocking. And so I need to write stuff down on a pad and then type at the same time. And if I can sort of put this here and like look at it while I'm typing, it is very helpful to me. So this is a, a style of uh, pad that I really enjoy. And of course, it has that awesome pattern uh, on the front cover, which is fun and a good, good solid backing on there. So you could just like hold on to this thing and write on it like a long reporter pad if you wanted to. So, yep, very cool. Check that out on his store. Uh, this is an empty piece of plastic because 
uh, it went around this right here, which is one of the things that Audrey insisted that uh, I need to watch out for and buy immediately because they sell out so quickly. Um, this is something that Tom made called Not Another Blank Notebook. 120 pages of high quality Japanese paper seeded with inspiration. A postcard sent in 1914, a painting of a tiger. Page 57 from a Nicholas Starks, Sparks novel, The Queen of Hearts. A, cat, a sheet of cat stickers, yesterday's grocery list, a, ho uh, a Hojo suggestion card, who knows? So Tom has uh, a bunch of ephemera and that sort of thing that he's just been collecting for a long time because he likes it, but he said he got tired of it just sitting around in boxes, and so he's kind of decided to uh, bind it into notebooks. So this is a notebook. It's just like, <laughs> it's fun, like just a page out of a, it's just a page of an old magazine or, uh, you know, just a piece of, what was this? From an art book, I suppose. Yeah, just sort of an art book, I think, is probably what that came out. Of. Maybe a coffee table book. It's very thick. Uh, and then, like, several pages. And then just some more things, right? And you never know what's going to be in here. It's going to be random ephemera <laughs> tips for pastry makers. And a map of, I want to say, mm, Poland, maybe? Uh, but you never know what's going to be in here. Just this lady with a cat, right? So uh, really fun stuff. Uh, very interesting things in here. And not boring at all. If he, um, I should say, when he posts more of these, keep an eye out because these are very cool and definitely worth the uh, the price of admission. Plus, it's got that same great paper that we were looking at in here, which is uh, excellent for fountain pens and all that jazz. All right. The other thing that uh, Ink Defendants fam, the other thing that Tom uh, is really into is stickers. And I kind of think he started getting into this whole Etsy shop and design thing because he loves stickers and wanted more. So uh, this is fun. There's one of his stickers there. I tried to open it and it, the sticker is too good. And so I ripped um, this little Sam Squanch's face a little bit. But hey, believe in yourself, Sasquatch. Love it. All right. So inside this which is a very nice little uh, note. Thanks so much for your order. So glad to know that our dishwashers will soon be wearing the same outfit. Hope they don't show up at the same party. Very fun. Thanks, Sugar Turtle. Uh, so I have this whole pack here of stickers and things like that. And one of them is a magnet we will see here soon that will go on my dishwasher. Um, although I did recognize or find out after I ordered all this stuff that my dishwasher is um, one of those like stainless steel ones, but is not magnetic at all. So uh, that's cool. Here's the magnet, actually. And this is a couple of Golden Gl Girls. Uh, we've got uh, Blanche here and Rose uh, for clean and dirty. Uh, this, uh, we just don't have something like this on our dishwasher. And I'm like, yeah, this is cool. So I'm going to get it. Of course, it doesn't stick to my dishwasher, but um, Audrey does have some little magnets with sticky on the other side. So I'm going to put those in the dishwasher and stick this to that. So I will make it work because it's super fun. Get yourself a little... We'll leave it on dirty side up because that seems appropriate. Uh, then here are some Tic Tac Turtles. How fun is that? Little, little sugar turtles, just like, just like this one, but smaller. Some Tic Tacs there. Uh, this one I definitely ordered because I really like this big vinyl stamp or sticker. This is going to go well on a water bottle or something. These vinyl stickers can really take a beating and you can throw them through the dishwasher if you need to uh, or hand wash or whatever. But these will take a real beating. You can put them on your car, I suppose, but I never do that. I just put them on stuff I carry around. Uh, and then here we have a, uh, a uh, Bic pigeon and then a Bic pigeon with his uh, uh, fountain pen peacock friend there, which is kind of amazing. Uh, 99 problems, but a big ain't one. You know what? I don't have any problem with them. I, I like Bix. I'm a fan. They're just as good as, uh, you know, they're great to carry around. Then uh, this fun cat here. I mean, look, look at how fun this is. I love everything about this illustration from the style to the mismatched eyes to the little chop style sugar turtle down there. Just uh, <laughs> kind of just great. Love that. Uh, this one is a um, like maybe an Ackerman sort of thing. Self-care. You can't write with an empty pen. Yeah, ink a pen. If you're feeling bad someday and you're like, I need some more color in my life, just go ink up another pen. Who cares if you have five or 10 or six or 70 inked? One more won't hurt you and it might make you feel better. So do a little self-care, ink a pen. Um, this, is, uh, this is his card, but his card actually is also stickers, right? How fun is that? This card is stickers. Love it. <laughs> then this little uh, thing right here is uh, just an amalgamation of all kinds of fun stuff. We got Dolly here, who is a national treasure, maybe an international one. Just this kind of tubby cat right here. Uh, this person with flowers, or maybe just ideas just bubbling out of their head. Uh, bears, ink splotches, a fountain pen, etc. We got here, uh, please ink responsibly, another 
Another vinyl sticker. Very good stuff. And uh, at the DC Pin Show, I picked up a really fun uh, like grab bag, blind bag envelope sort of thing full of stickers and stuff like that. Um, I love stickers. Uh, I have you know, got a bunch of them here in front of me as well. Just I'm kind of a big fan. So there you go. There's my little sugar turtle haul and uh, very nice stuff, including that very cool uh, tote bag, which won't fit here in the frame at all. But, uh, thanks Tom for making awesome stuff. Y'all go say, see Tom at his Etsy store and, uh, you know, at a pin show, tell him I said, hi, maybe that you saw stuff here. That's really always fun for people to find out about. So, you know, go get yourself not another blank notebook, put one of these in front of your, uh, your keyboard, stick a sticker to something, make your life a little better. And I will see you in another video until then. Peace out.